Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Wasted Toys, where we play D&D. And like last time, our episode 16 as well was messed up when it came to the intro and the outro, where we had no audio, unfortunately. But that is why I'm here to kind of fill in what happened last time to get you back into the newest episode of Wasted Twenties. So, previously on Wasted Twenties, the traveling merchants finally decided to move on after making their deals with the group. And once they left, apparently someone got left behind, Wolfred. And he kind of followed the group to their um, to the rest of them where Echo and Tulak was, mentioning that he was looking for a particular orc. Echo eventually showed himself. Wolford's like, no, that's not him. And that was it. But previously to that, Echo and Tulak had talked about changing up their traveling. Where they will now travel at night and rest during the day. Because previously they got attacked by all the scorpions and they kind of want to do what they can to mitigate being attacked. So with the new travel uh, segments put up, I think we're going over to Uli having a dream. Uli. Having traveled through the night, you settle in sleep. You're able to easily find sleep. It's not like dreams. Right. It's still sleep, but... I'm sorry. You find yourself in a dream. This dream has been a fairly reoccurring dream for you for a number of years now. You find yourself in a large canyon. Large stone jagged walls on either side. It seems to go endless. But you find yourself aimlessly walking the length of this canyon. That has been the content of this dream. Aimlessly walking. No end. You will experience this dream for hours on end. You're not worried about it. This is a dream that you've had many times. Except this time, you see something in the distance. It's the first time you've seen anything different. You continue moving towards it, almost against your own will. It's not as close as it seems. It feels like you're walking for hours before it finally begins to reveal its shape. This large spider web in the distance. The spider web spans the floor of the canyon to the top. Finally knit, there's no way for you to pass through it. Your only options at this point are to climb it, or to climb the rocks around it and try to find a way over it. What would you do? I'd probably try to uh, climb the rocks around. You climb the rocks and you begin you begin moving your way up the rocks. This canyon feels miles deep. As you move, the net does not give way. And you reach and grab a rock that you're for sure is sturdy, and that rock gives way as you fall. And as you fall, the wind catches you and pushes you into the net. And as you realize your predicament, you're stuck. It's like trying to pull iron that is adhesive to your body. In this moment, you realize you're caught. And that's when you wake up. You wake up and notice that <clears throat> too long. Echo. Cossack. Are still sleeping. Your other friends and compatriots are still there with you, going about their business as they wait for everyone else to wake up. I'm just going to make sure that everybody's still there. I'm counting all the heads. You would see everyone. Going to, uh, going to check everything on me. Make sure everything's fine. It's the first time I've actually ever visually seen the difference in all the dreams I've had. Right. 
You check, you check yourself, and as you begin to twist, your back hurts. This is dull ache in the center of your back, radiating to your lower back. I'm going to make sure nobody's paying attention to me. Um, those who are awake, who would have maybe been watching those who were sleeping, make a perception. No, uh, Click is burying me in the sand right now, so... Is it Emma? Um, Three plus six. Seven? I'm yeah, yeah, myself in the sand. Yeah, you get plus six. Oh, yeah. I just rolled for perception. You can, you can walk around. I don't get my perception. What'd you get? Eight. Eight? No, yeah. didn't see anything. And what's, you got a... Eleven. Eleven and Wolford? Twenty-two. Wolford would notice, kind of... You would notice that Uli has woken up suddenly, almost in a jolt, and has now started, and then he seems to be uh, wincing, from what you can tell. I reckon sand ain't too comfortable to sleep on, huh? Mm -hmm. I've been sitting in it, but other than that, I'm quite a while. Mm. I reckon you're looking a bit of pain. Not at all. Mm. The dream, though it felt like an eternity in your dream, replaced fairly fast in your head. Almost the falling from the cliffside, getting to that. It feels fresh, like you just experienced it. What is some um, kind of click getting buried in the sand? Is Come on, you I just push the sand over on top of me. Come on, click. Oh, I think your feathers will be so good at it. Put up my bed again. I'll take my shovel, uh, not my shovel, Your but shield. my shield, and kind of use it as a shovel and start helping her push sand away. <laughs> Thank you, Click. You know, you've been kind of quiet here lately. Are you okay? Don't stop burying me. I'm just asking you a question. <laughs> and I keep on just going. So I yeah, I know. This the desert kind of sucks, you know. Yeah. You would notice as you get buried, it's actually cooler than the the, the sun bearing down. This is pretty nice. You want me to bury you next? No, you don't want to get buried. And I, and I kind of sit there and take my shoe and just kind of scrunch down to the ground to where you can't see me on this shit. <laughs> Pretty smart. Did we just help you come up with that? In the name of we just. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Deborah. Oh. You all had traveled through the night. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. you had traveled through the night. You got to sleep while everyone traveled. And you all have kind of taken a four party watch while everyone tries to catch up on their sleep. Mm. So what would you be doing? It's daytime? It is daytime. The group came to the decision, um, since you weren't here, yeah. the group had came to the decision to travel at night. Yeah. That's smart. You told me. Uh, I, went, I did set the per alarm perimeter as well, and I fell asleep outside the alarm. Interesting. I did lie the night before. Interesting. Um, Devon would just... So I'm, aw I'm awake right now. You're awake. Right. I would just be watching. Uh, I don't really have any... Thing I need to do. Okay. Just be watching. Kind of watching, you know. Mm -hmm. We have already met. I figured. Since you're hanging out now. You're you hearing? write that to me in character. You know, you know, I don't know how to read that good. What does it say? <laughs> okay. So the, who's awake right now? With me? It. Okay, so it's Makani, mm -hmm. Wolfric, Click, yourself, and then Uli just woke up. Okay. I'm buried in the sand, though. That's fine. You all are completely buried. Just have fun. My head is 
sticky. I want to start walking <laughs> up the sand dune. No, Click, come back. So as you, your very Click starts to walk away, moving up the sand dune. <laughs> oh, that's what you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> You want to do anything once you're away? I'm gonna. I, I'm clearly gonna notice her buried. I'm just gonna shake my head. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I'm going to uh, go grab him. Go grab him. Go grab Devin real fast, and I need to, his assistance. Can you stab me again? I mean, if you really want me to. I no, can. I don't. Okay. <laughs> well, I need to borrow you for a moment, and it's uh, a little personal, so. Okay. Just don't mention it. Yes, I will. Okay. It's like tea. <laughs> I'm gonna pull him over where I'm like trying to get the chocobos in the way of you. Yeah. If anyone looked over. Okay. And I'm gonna throw my cloak off. I need you to look at my back for me. Why? Because I need. What am I looking for? Well, okay. Before you freak out, there is a tattoo on my back of a spider. Okay. A giant tattoo. Right above his body, there was yeah. a trip. <laughs> yeah, this bitch goes all the way down. It's like the back of a spider man. Yes. yes. Got it. Um, I love Spider Man. Who's Spider Man? Yeah, Can we just have like a bad guy named Spider Man at this point? Uh, we'll try. <laughs> See what's happening. Oh, nice. Or yeah, a good guy. <laughs> bad. I just want to know if my back is bruised or anything that you can tell. Of. Okay. Because strangely, so I'm going to lift up my cuirass as much as I can over me to show him my back. Make an investigation. <clears throat> so you just wore like a dress, so now your bare butt showing and everything. Cuirass. Investigation? Chest piece? Yeah. Oh. Like leather? Because I wear like leather. I'm okay, like, I heard dress too. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> 13? 13. You see this large, intricate spider on a web tattooed on his back. The web is tattooed a lighter color than the rest of the spider. But you notice in between the markings of the webbings, you see what appear to be darkly colored veins that have moved all over his back. I make a would be nature to see if I know what it is or um I just I'm just saying that's cancer. Medicine. <laughs> Medicine, yeah, that makes sense. Seventeen. You would have seen something similar to this in cases where a creature had been envenomated by like an extremely toxic snake or spider or scorpion. Mm -hmm. You would have seen colorations to this, but he obviously has no puncture wounds as far as you can see. There's nothing that indicates anything that would have envenomated him. But it's very similar in design. But it's like in between the web. It's kind of it, so if 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 the spider sits, you know, kind of center of his back with the legs kind of up the shoulders, mm -hmm. and then the bottom legs kind of down his the back of his his like hips, you would see the web kind of spreading out. But it's in between the webbings that you notice that coloration the most. Okay. Well, I don't know why I would freak out about your tattoo, because it looks cool, for one. Ah, fucking humans. But, it looks like you've been, this is weird, it looks like you've been bitten by something, but there's no wound. Like you've been, I don't want to say the word poison, but like, there's venom inside your veins. And as, as you're talking to him, you notice that the veins are starting to lighten in color and kind of fade out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's something else. No, 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 no. It's changing. It's changing. It's changing. It's 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 a very slow. Yeah. It's not like just gone, yeah. but they are it, they are starting to. It looks like his complexion is starting to return to its normal color. Okay, now it does. <laughs> what? And you would you would feel this reciprocated as the pain in your back begins to edge out and, and decrease ever so slightly. Did you heal yourself? No, I have no ability of doing that. 
that's weird. All right. That's all I needed. Thank you. That's all for today. Look, you, you had made your way up to one of the dens. What were you doing? I don't know. I want to make sure I'm far enough away from where I'm not going to run into anything. I'm Take just gonna off. slide <laughs> down the dune on my shield. You're gonna sit on your shield. And just Blake, what are you doing? <laughs> make a make an athletics check just, just to see if you face play. Oh god, I'm going to face play. Yes, face play. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Where'd you that one. Oh. The dice tell the narrative. As Makana, you're watching Click kind of trudge up this large dune. He gets to the top and sets his shield down. And then jumps onto the shield. And it's going smooth at first. And then it's almost like he hits a stone or a little rock. And he just is launched off the shield. And begins rolling as black feathers start flying everywhere. And he lands into the sand, kind of beat down. And pulls his head up. And he's just covered in sand at this point. That are stuck in between his feathers. That was the amazing click. I want to unbury myself out of the sand. I want to do it. I want to do it. I guess we just walk back up. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of unfurl my feathers and just kind of... Seeing all the sand yeah. out. And, yeah. Okay. Do you want to try it now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or make an acrobatics. Oh, that was really good. Uh, 18. You using a shield? Or you Do you let me it? use your shield? Uh, ah, yeah. <laughs> so you're able to you're able to jump on the shield and, and make your way down. It, it, flawlessly, you don't fall off. You miss whatever he hit. Uli, look at me! <sighs> you're a big child, too. People are sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up enough to cast mold earth and like pull the sand down over the front of my little thing to just like entomb myself and then I like poke my fist through for air <laughs> smart what is Wolfram doing? I'm gonna get out of your sitting here watching them watching them play and enjoy mm-hmm. themselves and then do you, do you go down do you roll down or do you wait for a brand to show I want to walk down because I'm confused as why she is able to just do it perfectly and I'll just... Because <laughs> I, I, I thought that's how it's supposed to go. <laughs> it's a click kind of waddles his way down. Almost grumbling, I would imagine. <laughs> Doing the bug language that I heard. <laughs> Was that another click? Click, you did it so much better than me. You rolled so fast and you landed in the sand. It was way cooler. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of lift my shoulders back up and put a yeah. chest on it. Yeah. And just kind of dust myself off and just give her a nod. Praise we Jess. Praise the we Jess. Uh, yeah, we do in this party. That and Gromsh. <laughs> don't reckon I know what Gromsh or Weeches are. Well, I don't really know, but they're like, imagine there are people in your foot. head. Oh, he has um, some scribbles about it. So. <laughs> some scribbles. <laughs> Makani, as y'all are having this conversation, and don't you, you, you get the words out. He has some scribbles about it. This voice wells up in the back of your head. Please tell me he's okay. You know, look over at Uli. Look around. Yeah, I mean, he's okay. He's just, he's, he, he just took a nap. Oh? What? Did you say that out loud? She did. I don't know who you've been talking about. Who's okay? I don't know. Do you want to go down the hill on the shield? <laughs> I reckon I got my own shield. I might want to try it, I guess. Do you want to race? I reckon we can race. Come on, Click. We can be on the same team. 
All right, now I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to write on my paper. I got five on my girl. And, uh, just I got five on the new guy. Write on it. Um, <laughs> hey, maybe if we go down together, go faster. Those are super good scribbles, but we need to get to the top of the hill. <laughs> as, as they walk, we're betting. We're betting. Um, as they walk to the top, I'm gonna walk to the bottom of the hill and draw a line with my foot. Okay. And I'm gonna stand on one side of the line. Clay, do you think if we rub together, we would go faster? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so we're all gonna sit down on it and like push, kind of like like bobsled. Okay. <laughs> Uh, are y'all riding this together? Yeah. We are. Okay. I think I'm gonna do old school, like little kid, like run with my like my shield and just a yeah. face yeah. Yeah. Okay. For it. This is going to go so far. Do we right. each roll our own? Yes. Um, we 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 bet. You, you bet. said that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How did y'all bet? Oh, oh we fly. He we put five on her. I put five on you. Yeah. Okay. Five <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. So. Acrobatics checks. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> he broke know. his shield. Shit. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, did he hear it? Yeah. Really? Seriously? Wait, no! Did <laughs> 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 they clash? Two net ones. Well, oh, man. I don't know how mine works since we're on the same one. What'd you get? I got an 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it started off. <laughs> okay, so Makani takes the shield with a click and sets it down and kind of gets dug into the sand a little bit. And she sits down and it's just like, hey, come on, click, get on. And, it, it, and click hops into her lap. And Wolfram takes a few steps back and he begins running <laughs> as different meals go. Yep. Wolfram jumps, but jumps too far. <laughs> so instead of, instead of, Coming down onto the slant, he's now falling like 15 feet towards it. As soon as you all go, you push off a little too hard, and Click just rolls off your lap <laughs> behind you and starts rolling down the hill behind you. But I mean, you pushed off real hard, and you all keep going. So as you're going down the hill, Wolford is just flying <laughs> over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. <laughs> McConney. Yeah. Higher or low. Hi. Oh. Wolverine plants and start. I mean, he just eats a mouthful of dirt. You as you slide past him and cross the finish line, <laughs> <They're not gone. laughs> and then and then and then Wolverine crosses as Click then tumbles over the finish line. <laughs> From our hill, Damn it. Oh, five gold. <laughs> that was so with you. fun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, how one place. Are you okay? <laughs> I reckon that might mean we're tired, huh? No, I crossed the line before you. Mm, but only half of your team crossed. Hmm. That's some good logic. <laughs> you already gave it to me, don't yeah, even ask me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's true. Cool. Continue to enjoy be your time man. in the sand and the dunes. Your other group, other members of your group, start to rouse from sleep. First echo, followed by Tulak hmm. and Cossack. Grabbing the. Uh... The uh, silver string or whatever, and the bell is just recollecting my deposits. Grab the pillow up there. Go. It's click again, moves up to you, kind of taps you on the back of your calf. Go down, pull the mask back. And then I grab a care wound. Suit you get. The, the large, open, festering wound has started to heal and is no longer infected. It is now a very thick, grimy scab. It, it probably itches quite a bit, but it is starting to pull in and you're starting to see what would be 
considered scar tissue appearing, but it is definitely no longer infected at this point. The master right back up. And I just kind of stretch and go over to my horse and just kind of start relaxing. Okay. Just to clarify, I've been saying mask, I don't know why. It's a collar. Yeah. <laughs> it's I a think collar. we all, we, yeah, yeah, I think we all. I watched have. episode one. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A week later, you still haven't even watched episode two. I watched episode two. Did you? What episode are you on? Episode three. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> So we record ahead of time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's only there's four episodes out. Now? Six. Uh, six. At oh, the time of this, at the time of yeah. recording this, there's six episodes out. Yes. Yeah. That lets you how far ahead we record now. Yeah, in the curtain. Fourth oh. wall. Oh, we edit that out as a, as a beep. beep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our editor will take care of this. <laughs> that was last episode. <laughs> was it here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna crawl out of my little lean to and clear all the sand off it and do a big old cat stretch in the sun. Nice. <laughs> and then just pack everything up. Okay. Tulak. Tulak is gonna actually get out, you know, kind of do the whole don his armor, get himself prepared. Um, he's gonna pack up his tent, load it back up onto the chocobo, again, grab Deborah's chocobo, make sure that they're harnessed together. And just kind of gonna go over to uh, Gat. Come here. What? This star map? Yes. Perhaps you can teach me to read the star map? We cannot see the stars right now. When, when, when we can. <laughs> I, not everything has to be so literal. I reckon you did ask him to show you the order. I mean, it's bright and sunny right now, so it's. <laughs> I mean, I can try. Um, <laughs> I ate some sand in your mouth, too. Who may go? My father actually made this one, and I've spent a lot of time adding to it. Um, it's not so much about learning how to read it as it is knowing where you have already been and knowing what these stars look like from there. Well, the Horde will do some traveling at night and this is a better way of ensuring a return to Hearth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, is the Horde coming through the desert? Perhaps not through the desert, but you can teach me the technique. Oh, sure. And then you can show my subordinates, and then they would teach their subordinates, and so on and so forth. I this will be I a great part- addition to the board. I don't particularly care about your chain of command, but I can teach you what I know about following the stars. This works. <laughs> <laughs> you all... Take your time to feed the chocobos and get them ready for additional travel at this point. I would say it's getting closer to 6 o'clock. The sun is starting to go down at this point. We should have uh, three hours of traveling before they get tired. Because they'll always up for like eight hours. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, they're good. Okay, I think like, we were sitting there. It's like something. Like, no, 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 no. You all, go. you all. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to stay, guys. Let's go. No, you all, you all, day rested for eight hours. Yeah. Okay. Please. And now it's you all stopped as the sun was kind of hitting its nearing its pinnacle as it started to get hot. You all stopped and then rested. And now the sun is kind of going back. Okay. Down okay. I thought the cooler portions of the cool. Day. I thought we stopped when the sun just came. Okay. Cool beans. No, you're all good. My time is off. You all begin to... Don't have that key mark. Not yet. I should have got that one instead of when I got it, but whatever. <laughs> Regrets. <laughs> the buyer's remorse. You all mount the chocobos and oh, proceed boy. out with Devrom and Cossack at the lead, especially before the sun goes down. Yeah. You have your natural wit about you. You are able to point the party due south. Got it. Where you all needed to go to get to the full embark. Of course. 
you all are able to travel. Once the sun goes down, the chocobos start to show a little sign of tiring. So you all stop for a little bit, feed the chocobos, get them rested, and then you all head out. We hook up the same way, the 331. Okay, so that's how they're hooked up? Yeah, and I'm by myself, and they're 3-3. Three, three. And you're going to be a long strider? Mm-hmm. Okay. A casting long strider. Right, right, right. And that lasts for? An hour. It, it's only an hour. Only an hour, yeah. That's why I said okay. last time I was out of yeah. first level spells. Okay, gosh. You all move. You all begin to move into the level. Hmm? I can cast a second. You all move another four hours. Who would have stayed up in this? It would have, would you all have split the same four while the others slept? It, it makes sense because we can see the dark. Okay. You all begin to move through. And actually, for the second part of the night, whenever Devrim had to go to sleep, um, I would offer to let him ride me and change. Okay. So I pull out a set of because normally normally Cossack just wears like the the desert sash like the fucking the harem pants mm-hmm. and that's it. But he pulls out of his pack what's basically looks like a like a leather chest harness, and then down his sides basically to his knees hangs two straps and like bridles or yeah, like the like stirrups. Yeah, like with stirrups. three sets of loops on them. And so, um, uh, perhaps you would like to let the other chocobo rest, and you can sleep on me, that way we can both keep point. And I I just change into a chocobo. And so then when I change, the three three stirrups kind of hang down my side so you can get on top and then like, lace your legs into them. Upgrade! (laughs) First class, hop on. You'll you'll begin to move. And again, the cactar population at this point of the desert is quite thick. So many of them run in stride with you. Some of them are running perpendicular to you all. Some of them are running parallel with you. Some are running in different directions. They're just imagining like dolphins in the waves. <laughs> yeah, <of> you. <laughs> right. I mean, they're just they're just. I mean, they're just booking it full force. I mean, are they keeping different pace. Sizes? With, what is it? Are they different sizes? Um, no, they're all one? about. They're all between two to three feet tall. Okay. No, no taller than Clay. But they keep pace with you all. They don't mess with you. They just run with you. Those of you who are awake, let's see. Echo, you would see this. Anyone who is keeping a watch. And the night. Give me a... And Cossack would see this. So, Uli and Tulak make perceptions for me. So I said 12. 21. Um, okay, Uli would get this, Tulak would not. In the distance, you see... I mean, miles and miles and miles and miles out. You see the faintest golden color yellow lights in the distance. Almost like a sun. It's not rising. It's way far distance. Do I recognize this from my uh, traveling? Yes, Cossack and Uli see this as well. You would recognize this as the distant golden saucer. You all finish this night's travel with no incident and set up gone forever. Set up the camp as the sun starts to hit its sharpest point. As the heat begins to bear down. And at this point, you all take your rest and the other four wake up. Uli, you have the same dream again. But again, you find yourself walking down the canyon, climbing the side of the rock, the rock breaking, falling into the web and becoming stuck. As you wake, your back again hurts. And again, after 20 or 30 minutes, that pain fades out. But you again have this dream. Those of you who are awake during this time, make perceptions. So we're awake now? Yep. At this point, it's safe to say my alarm's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Seven, six, fifteen. Am I having this dream or am I awake? You're still having this dream. You got what? So your passive is actually enough to catch this. Yeah. And then Makani got it. 
Oh, yeah, so 50. Wait, oh, 50. Wait. To the... Just, the, so just the barely point. southwest, you will see a settlement in the distance. How far away? Um, four miles. Wait, we see it? Yep. You see this fair-sized settlement. Not huge, but you do see it. And you would also see what would have been the luscious Ionoc oasis that has now dried up and is now just like a giant crater, craterous, dry dirt pit. So who's a, who's asleep right now? Uh, Cossack, Tulak, Echo, and Uli are currently asleep. How long have they been asleep? Uh, three hours. You're stuck with me, baby. Oh, you were watching that? <laughs> how, okay. <laughs> how 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 far away are we? Uh, about four miles from the. Hey, so. do do you guys see that? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I don't see that. No, it's right. It's right oh. over there. It's like a little, a little, a little speck in the. Look, I can squash it. No, oh, I don't squash it. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to look out, but so short he just doesn't see it. Do you do you think that is a golden saucer? I can assume so. Uh, the, does it look like it's a bustling city? Is there anybody? Does it look like you're not? You're not really close enough to be able to tell at this point. Uh, I want so as we're riding. Uh, if I see any movement in the city, I'm gonna wake everybody up. I've uh, got a bad uh, feeling. About no, it. we're camping. Yeah, we're, camp- we're, camp- we're, we're camping. Yeah, I thought we were camp- riding. Uh, I think we're supposed to like we were. Oh yeah, because you're we're probably at night, nice, so we're sleeping right now. The chocobos and the people with dark vision sleep um, during the day. Don't. All right, that's fine. Do you want to abandon everyone no. and go check it out? Mm-hmm. No, not no? a good idea. All right, <clears throat> I reckon I agree to that. <laughs> but we should tell them when they wake up, right? They wake, yeah, why wouldn't we? I don't know. Maybe it could be a secret just between us, you know? I don't see a secret. I don't reckon I got many secrets. Mm-hmm. You don't have any secrets? I reckon not. Most of my secrets everyone already knows because I tell everybody, so... Well, let's not have another secret. Let's just tell them when they wake up. How about that? Because this is where we're going. Well, a stop, at least. It's true. Mm. I reckon this is where the sound comes from then, right? The sound? The sound. Oh, do you mean Echo? Echo's dead, right? No, he doesn't live Not in here, the no. desert. But we're stopping in the desert on the way to go see his papa. Oh. How's our reserves on water? And on food? water? I mean, we've only been out for... I don't know about yeah, today, it's been, it's been mansion, so. two days essentially since you all left the Mian year. The you've consumed about twenty five percent of your supply at this okay. point, so you guys are doing all right. Um, the the decision to travel at night has pretty much halved your water requirements Good. at this point. Yeah. What about water skins? Is for sure empty. They hold about ten cups of water. Yeah. I reckon we'd have a gallon of water if someone went and ripped it open on their face. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have this. It's full of water. It's like a little bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. I reckon that's good for you then. Yeah, it's got <laughs> plenty of water. You can have some if you get thirsty. I reckon I got bowling water. <clears throat> as you all, as you all are speaking, Uli comes to consciousness. Does he seem to be distraught again? Um. I'll I'll give you that he. Would you have reacted in the same way as kind of? I'd try not to, but if, it, not to. if it's the same, if I have the pain again, I'm just like. Yeah, you would you would see the. I'll say since you got that first check, you, you, you're kind of noticing that he still is having kind of that, that same wincing type behavior. Morning, sunshine. <gasps> Uli. I think it might have stepped on a rock or something. I'm literally sitting every time I sleep. I reckon maybe said my dad might be hurting your back. That's what makes you win so much. Yeah, my spine is not intact like it used to be. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, Annie. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's happened? I'm wonderful. Nothing. All good. I'm not looking at you. Look. Given your passive, you would see the settlement 
in the distance, about four miles away. But when you look, I want you to make a perception. Okay. Is that, so. is that where we're going, Uli? I don't know, Devrim. Is that where we're going? Safe to assume so. Is that the direction we were Wait, heading? you're our yeah. guide. You should probably know what that is. <laughs> Sarcasm. I, I, oh! They, it's probably <laughs> where we're going. Says the one who blurts everything out. You got the me pretty good. Uli, I'm working on that, okay? Are you? She's doing pretty good. I didn't ask you. No, she's not doing very well at all. She blurted it out and she saw that right before anyone else saw it. She... Wolfred, why do you have to be like that to me? Now, <laughs> I was just telling him. Now I like you. Listen, did you sleep well? How are you doing today? I'm fine. Yes, I slept wonderfully. If you, you slept want... so good, then why do you look like you feel so bad? It doesn't seem like you might have slept that good. Do you, you want just to get into me? Hmm? Let's all fight. You want to fight Annie? Yeah, let's spar in the sand. All right, but it's your funeral. Okay. <laughs> We're going to spar and pass the time. So, um, let's high low this. Okay. I did it last time. High low. Or we could initiative it. Oh, you want to initiative it? <laughs> yeah, just initiative it. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> that makes it much easier. Yeah, it does. So... Sixteen. Seventeen! Oh! <laughs> Makani's getting better, and she actually ups you by pulling your feet out from under your legs and ends with the spear in your chest. And as the sparring ends, welling in the back of your head, he's okay. And where is he? He's right underneath of me. <laughs> Got you, Uli! But if I hit my back, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Throw down the the uh, pike. Are you okay? Yeah, Are you okay? I'm fine. I landed on top. I'm sorry. I'm really fine. strong. It's fine, Annie. I didn't mean to hurt you so much. Wolfric's gonna lean over to you and be like, "Why'd she not kill him when she was winning?" It's fine, Annie. Because they were I'm just sparring. So I just landed on oh, something, you know, training, like, like oh, oh, yeah. See, I landed on my dagger. These hands are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't know right your own it. strength. You're right. I don't. You just get in, it wells up in the back of your head again. What? What? What is going on? Who is this? Are you Regis? <laughs> <laughs> kind of look over in her direction, just kind of nodding my head. Thinking if she can do anything. Who are you talking to? What? You... Um, I don't know. You were really good. Yes, painfully you did. <sighs> Keep at it. I reckon she talks so much she just talks to herself now. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I talk a lot. <laughs> you never That's talk me. to yourself. Huh? You never talk to yourself. Mm. Or what are you talking about? No, to I only talk to people. I don't just talk to myself, really. And who the hell were you looking at just a minute ago? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. What exactly does I don't know mean in your case? I'm just saying that someone asked me a question, I answer it. I don't know. No one asked you a question. Maybe it was a sand fairy. Maybe it was Ouija. Maybe it was Gromsh. Maybe it was the Chocobo. I don't know. Who asked Ooh. me the question? Asked. What do you? Then what was the question? Uh, I don't remember. Um, like. Uh, something like, oh, uh, where is he? And I said, oh, he's right there. <laughs> Say that again. Where is he? Where's who? I don't know. I guess you. You're the one that was right in front of me. But I don't know. It could have been anyone. It could have been Click or who, maybe. Wait, if it was me, then who would be asking you about me? I don't know. Maybe we just Maybe Grunch. Maybe Chocobo. Or the sand fairy. <laughs> maybe Chocobo. Okay, don't, don't forget the sand fairy. <laughs> I just, maybe there are sand fairies. Annie, focus. Who is asking you about me? I don't know. Next time, ask them. OK. 
Okay, next time I will say, who is this? Yes. Okay. That's important, Danny. Can I ask you a question? I'm right here. Are sand fairies real? No. Yes. Really? You are not helping. <laughs> you don't know. I don't, but I'm going to say no as long as I don't know. Until I know, then yes. I don't know. I don't know Makes sense? What do they look like? They might be real. So you've never seen one? <laughs> so, an, Bless her. again, there's your answer. No, until you see one. But fairies are a thing. Yes, they are. So why not sand fairies? Because I don't know. Make a perception minus five. <laughs> Nine. So hey, wait, wait. No, there's no. Is that? Sorry, there was the, oh, it was not minus five. Oh. Is that the first time that's happened? Mm, no, it has happened a couple other times. What? I think I don't know. We keep running into people. A lot of strange stuff has happened. If we, has it always been in the desert? Wait, that's a good question. Why is that a good question? Yeah, so it's probably sand fairies. Exactly. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I'm saying it might be the heat or something. Mm-hmm. Or just I get fairies. that, but stop antagonizing Listen, it. we don't know. I... Well, well, make it an... I'm going to cut off your hand. Please don't. I like <laughs> it. History, <gasps> rather. He's the, the cat. He said Seven. someone was going to lose their hand in the desert. Oh you've, my god. You've been around. It's around going to be you. Now. She's never responded to herself, but you do remember the first time that you saw her kind of blurt something out out of context. Like that was the day you all were evicted from the moon. I think I got sand in my eye, Uli. <laughs> <laughs> And you have sand all over you. I don't know why that's a problem now. <laughs> yeah, I'm really dirty. Secondly, do you, you've done this before. Yeah, probably. <sighs> why can't I fix your brain? Just a little bit. What is wrong with my brain, Uli? Oh. It's wonderful, that's why. I wish I could fix it, make it even more perfect. Thanks. Anyhow. <laughs> Shut up, Davrom. <laughs> <laughs> you all kind of sit around. Makani and Click continue to play. And be gleeful. The shield. Eventually, your other comrades begin to wake up. It's like Cossack, then Tulak, then Echo this time. Same thing. Clear off my sand, my big old cat stretch. Same thing, I just go over there. Are we going to be a cat stretch? Again, Echo and Click kind of go through with the healing. He's he's so busy getting some bread, he forgets every time. He's like, oh, yeah, hang on. The the scab has begun to recede. It's still there, but it has begun to recede from its mind. Then just replace the old feather with the new feather. So he places another feather on your collar. Oh, every time you put a feather, I take it out and put it in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> How many feathers do I have? Uh, How many days has it been? Yeah, this is like, this okay. is day nine, I believe. Nine times. Not since the desert, <laughs> but since you all met. I don't even think he's been sick nine times. Wait, I didn't get a feather the first time. No, I did. Yeah. 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 So then you would have eight feathers, or nine feathers. Yep. At this point, the sun has started to go down. You all are getting Jogbo's ready, putting their bardings on them. You start getting on Jogbo's as, as those of you who slept are picking up your stuff. Before we leave this time, I'm going to cast Mold Earth and basically like indent and compact the sand in like a ten foot like trough down like two feet and compact it. And I'm going to cast Create Water into it. To give them some water. Them some water to fill my water skin. Okay. Top everything off. And then just gesture towards everybody else. Oh, yeah. While we're around the watering hole. Uh, so good news, gang. While everyone was sleeping, direct your attention that way. That's where we're going. Yep. Over so there. I saw you... it. Like, I don't know if anybody else noticed it. Yeah. 
And is it the golden saucer? Or is it in a different direction? Have a look see. Have a look see. And in other news, <laughs> Devon won't have a hand for my phone. Yeah, because he but saw it. I know. The key this is not. Um, the the uh, settlement that you that he kind of sure. pointed to sits on one side of the dried oh, oasis. Are you checking as well? Yeah. So yeah. Maybe. Sits on one side of the dried oasis. The the golden saucer is barely visible at this point. You see this as well. Is barely visible at this point, but it's still far, far away. So how far off is it? Like, uh, like um, degree wise on the horizon. It's slightly southwest. Okay. Like maybe five degrees. Okay, but not like like no 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 no. no, no. Um, actually, that is not where we're going, unless we are making a pit stop there. The Golden Saucer is still the, the wee speck on the horizon. Did I see the Golden Saucer, or just the you other? You couldn't see it during the day. Damn. I figured we were stopping yeah. to, uh, collect supplies in case we need it. If we don't need it, we can go right past it. I mean, it's... Times are hard in this part of the desert, but it's always worth stopping in. Do I know anything about a settlement in that location? In uh, relation to the Golden Saucer? Maybe intelligence. Actually, I'm not a smart Okay, I'm a smart boy. <laughs> you would know that on base where this is, that there's a town called Thornborn. Okay. And it's the last stop on the Oasis if you were going to cross the dry Oasis to get to the Golden Saucer. I believe that's actually um, Thornbart. Interesting. The golden saucer is, like I said, what, I can see the golden saucer. Would I have stopped there before? Or did we just go past it? No. Okay. Should we stop there or just go straight there? It's always worth asking for or just seeing what they have. That's fair. Let's stop. We could size them up. We could what? Size them up. Stop by, say hey. Or we through. could gauge whether or not they are an easy target. For uh, your <clears throat> conquest. That's correct. Well, are we talking about the Golden Saucer? No. No. The small village or settlement that's just beyond the See, I'm, I'm in here. Just trying to decide if we want to take over this town or not. Trust me, I know. We take over little town and then we take over you the big You are taking over nothing. Uh, that girl is going to wait until we start to get I don't know. We have to see it mm-hmm. first. It is really no. so. But... At the same time, our numbers are still very few, so other than small piercing strikes, there's no need to attack. That's a wonderful idea. You never let me conquest anything. You conquest <laughs> cakes and muffins and breakfast all the time. It's true. Well, Nothing yeah. like a delicious conquest. Is that what you call that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh? we're gonna like conquest. Sure, too. we'll go with that for now. I go feed him out. You all begin to kind of have this conversation and disperse away from the water once each of you have kind of filled up your water canteens. I need to mark off. I'm doing the wraps. Well, I'm soaking them, washing them out. Uh, Both side monitors. Um, Just lightly clean myself up when the wind's around, pretty much. Okay. And then fill up my. I would fill the water skin beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> then do all that. <laughs> and then wash them out. Yeah. Off. And then uh, let them kind of squeeze them out and then re wrap my arms back up. Okay. And then I guess I figure out what he needs. <laughs> okay. I'm sure the black shirt is more water. Yes. Can you help me with that? Yes. What was it? I'm sorry. I asked if he could help me with her. Oh, okay. Bacardi, do you want to see pictures? Yeah. I'll walk over. I'm going to pull out an older book. It's a journal. And I'll flip through the pages. I'll read this out loud in my voice. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. This is when I was younger. Do you know where Conquest is? Um, it has to do with like muffins and like um. In terms of what Tudok is talking about. Um, is the, uh, Did I hear this conversation? Uh, yes. Okay. I think he wants to like uh take over things for Bromsh. Um, I don't.
don't know, really. That is accurate. A conquest is a taking of something by force. Do you want to hurt people? I mean, if they're bad, that will hurt them. Because if your heart's not in it, then it'll do nothing for Grumsh. This is true. That is why when she fights, it is pure fury. And that would please Grumsh. It would please him. Do you want to hurt innocents? People that you would consider innocents. Well, Uli says I'm not allowed to hurt people unless they Take try Take Uli to... out. I can hurt this house. You hurt to protect. Mm -hmm. You hurt in the arena because you want the prize. But if there's a child or in the street, will you slay that child's parent in front of them? No, I don't think so. Why would that hurt will the child? Will you burn their homes down to kill people or shine them? Mm, no, I don't think I would hurt their houses. She is not grumpsh. No, she is not that grumpsh. Like you, I don't view all of it the same. But one must keep their sword sharp by fighting greater enemies. Children and women are weak. I, agree. I have no need to fight them. And those who would willingly but adhere to my law have no need to fear me. And if they don't? If they resist, then they are fighting us. They are bad guys and we kill Even them! they can't protect themselves. If you are willing to fight, you will find a way to protect yourself. Find a line that you like. If you're willing to cross it, then do so. So... Are you saying that what he thinks is wrong? I don't believe in the idea of taking what isn't yours. I don't either. I never have. I just want to know where this horde he speaks of is. Gosh, like this whole time has been like looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Are we scouting the, for your horde? Yes. He wants I've, to make one. I am building a horde. Oh. Like, but like crowdsourcing? How's <laughs> <laughs> that going for you? My purpose is not simply conquest. That is but one small piece of it. As you, as you all are having this conversation, I kind of imagine you all are kind of circled around having this little talk. Okay. It somehow turns to that, and you ask Bakani to come here. <laughs> you all... Can't speak of my talk. Here from behind you, the sound of like bones clinking. As you turn and look, I would assume mm -hmm. there's this thin creature with large wings. It's just rolled a bunch of dice, or like bone dice in front of him. Cat, what the hell is that? You know this to be a bird one. I'm just standing there like my fur like as short as it is is like on end. And it it, 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 it kind of looks up at you, Tulak and Makani. If you wanna test yourselves, come to my home. Mm -mm. Where do you live at? Mm -mm. Over there. I don't like this. Is it in the direction of it's the village? Like it's either. Mm -hmm. oh. Test ourselves. Oh. You say you need to keep the barn sharp. You, you're so hard. You need to keep them sharp. Yes, one must keep the metal sharp. Right. You can test yourself. I believe he... It has challenged us to a fight. I will fight anything! Unless it is a child in the street with their parents watching or fire to a house where people are inside. But otherwise you are going down! And it, it just, it, 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 it kind of laughs maniacally as it fades from existence. Progress. It just disappears? It just disappears. I, I sure immediately want to like scamper forward to where the bones were on the ground. There, when you, when you get up to like, look, there's nothing there. 
Sand fairy. That was not a sand fairy. Damn. What was that? You know what that was? Thank you for clarifying something. No, sand fairies are far too different. <laughs> was hideous. So you're telling me they're real? Yes. Oh, no, face off. No, I have not seen one, therefore it is not real. <laughs> Wait, what was that? What was that that was here? Not a sand fairy. That was actually my quarry here in this desert. I won't do what? that. Your quarry? What does that mean? Yes. It is a burbalite. They are... They are creatures who... They are kind of similar to vampires, um, but they hide in um, abandoned places, which makes me think that that town is probably not um, yeah. a hub above society. Yeah. That is where he came from. Um, but they feed on people, but more specifically, they consume their memories. Interesting. So he wants you to test for him, right? He eats memories? Yeah. Like someone wouldn't remember things afterwards? <laughs> no, they, they consume I have a them. That never gets taken from me. <laughs> they consume the, the, they consume people entirely, but they absorb their memories when they eat them and they target people who have experienced lots of strife and hardship and pain. Perhaps that is why he called the challenge out to you, Tulak. Yeah, because that's not that, me. Does it fit the bill? There have been many who have died at my hand. And then there are these. I'm going to pull out my bag and open it. No, down the shop! <laughs> and it's Perhaps. just a bag full of eyeballs. Like, like having maybe, like gelatin almost. Maybe, yeah. Like they're really they're not gross. preserved. So. They're not preserved. Like this is really <laughs> nasty. Just throw some salt in there. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, the reason I'm hunting the Burbalang is because I think that if I can take its knuckles to make a set of casting bones, that not only will I have all of the power from within the Burbalang, but also the memories from the people it is consumed. So you're telling me it's in our best interest to go to an abandoned town and talk to a sand vampire? Yes. I'm you believe to, I'm that going to kill it. this thing will give you the experience of those it has killed? The memories. I think its bones hold those powers, yes. This is interesting. I mean, I have these. How do you weigh in, Echo? I pull out my little, I pull out my pouch and I pour into my hand and it's like, a, it's a set of bones, but they're like, they're, some are larger, not like large bones, but some are you like. You don't have femurs in there. No, some are like knuckle bones from larger creatures, but a lot of them are just like smaller scattering bones of bones. Um, I have made and harvested these myself and they have, they have shown me many things, some of which have come to pass, some of which I have misinterpreted, so. I think that you, like the, the shamans, you get the chair closer. You some yes, mm -hmm. some people call them shamans. This is this is good. Uh, I yes, I think it's good. <clears throat> there is the the ability to foresee the future. This is a wonderful boon. The horde shall benefit from it. I don't know. Well, it's just kind of a hobby right now, but... <laughs> as, as you all are talking, Echo has started gathering Chocolo's trouble. Yes. We need to waste, stop wasting time with gold, dude. We need to see if there's still supplies. It would be good to visit this place for supplies, but weren't you just explaining to her that the killing of innocents is wrong? Did I it. say I'm going to kill innocents? So if this thing money. is killing innocent people, would it not? It does not necessarily have to kill innocent people. Um, it can feast on the flesh of the dead. Oh, well then he's not the bad. No, but it, uh, they, are, they are technically also evil creatures. And um, Thorn Barton, in, from what I understand, the recent past, um, did have people living in it. And if it has taken up residence there and not somewhere nearby, it's likely that there are not that many people, uh, if any, 
Still there's alive. people left and we need to save them for your sake. Yeah, what if it's like Maybe. children and their parents are watching? Well, we Which have, is the opposite of a conquest in this case. We have free an people. open invitation into this thing. They home. may still serve purposes. Then you can pay for their supplies to travel with us. Okay, they can come with us. I'm going to cast uh, <laughs> Shape Water. Okay. And pull, let me see how many I can have. It might just be one. You can have no more than two of the non instantaneous effects. So I don't know how. Oh, it stays frozen for an hour. Sweet. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull like five of the like shard shaped pieces of water out and freeze them. Okay. And then fasten so them. So make like ice daggers. Yeah. Okay. Carry like five of them. Okay. The town's not four miles away, right? Only, only Golden Saucer was. No, the town is four hours. Four hours? Four, four, four miles. Four miles, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Un- unjokeable, you all would be able to reach that. In a few moments. Yeah, like 20 minutes. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I just want to make sure for his weapon purposes. Yeah, yeah. so you all mount, for you all mount the chocobos and start making your way towards Thor- Thornbarton, I heard correctly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all get to the town, and as you all approach the town, you see that the town has become desolate. Whatever drought has come through has thrown the entire town into disarray. A lot of the homes, a lot of the doors are left wide open. A um, bunch of the plants that would have set on the coast of the oasis have wilted and died and are now tumbleweeds in training, waiting for them to break off. Hmm. You see, there's no movement throughout the town. You all enter the town. You all enter its gate. You see a large sign that says Thorn Barton, but the N on the end has broken free in the harsh environment and hangs upside down. So it's Thorn Bar, Ta, and then the N is hanging. You all walk in, standing in the middle of the street. Again, is that tall, thin creature with a bunch of bones in its hand, and as it sees you, it rolls the bones and starts picking through them. Not so a spoiler. Not so I am in the sky. And I saw that you have come here, which bodes well for me. I want to see if I could see the bones. Yeah, you see, you see him kind of picking through the bones, and I want to like, like mentally take notes, like see what I see in them. Like, yeah, that's right. Everyone, make a perception check. You make an investigation check. Man, oh no! I have a roll of the natural one. You see what would the, can't make any discernation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like a spider yeah. from here. Nine. My passive's so much better. Yeah, minus two. Yeah, you. you uh, I can give you your passive. Because okay. you've got observant, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. Five. Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Anyone who got above a twelve yeah. would basically see shambling shadows in between the houses nearby as you start to hear moaning and what sounds like a dry inward cough. Grab my pike and be at the ready. You're still in the truck of those, right? Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll ready up as well. I get what you guys be getting ready for. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like fixated on the bones yeah. in the ground. Ready to watch this creature. So they begin. Um, what is going it? Going to uh, tighten one of my pieces of leather. Uh, le- leather. Your leather. On my one of my bases and kind of like just wrap it more around my wrist. Mage armor. Mage armor. If I saw that they're getting ready, I'm grabbing my shield and bringing it back around. Did you all begin to stand at the ready? The little creature in front of you begins to laugh as he's picking everything up. At this moment, you see this dry, almost jerky-like skin reach around one of the walls and pull itself out. As you see this completely dehydrated bag of bones. Just the skin is sucked in and on itself. And as they pull out, I need everyone to make a con saving throw. Uh, 
Oh, fuck. That's good, man. That's good. No, it's not. Anyone, um, everyone who scored above a 13 or higher. 20, 18. 21. Okay, you all will take four points of damage. Oh, I passed that as well. I roll Everyone down. else will take nine. What kind of damage is this? Necrotic. Um, okay. what, can I, can we do reactions at, at the, during this? You can do reactions. Uh, this. Echo then reach his hand up and cast Azor Elements as he... Mm-hmm. So that gives you resistance to Necrotic. Yeah, but my next melee attack will have yeah, Necrotic. Nine damage? Uh, I, don't know. I thought it was only the elements. I think it's anything. Well, it doesn't, uh, it... Uh, your resistance to the triggering damage type until the start of your next turn. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, so, you... You notice as these things begin to approach you, the moisture is drawn out of your body. I rolled a crit. Uh, a crit. Uh, so then that's double damage. Cool. For you then, that's 18 points of necrotic damage. Yeah, cool. Oh. This app is weird. Okay, no, it's, so, it does stay acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. I had to click something to see it. Devram is doubly affected as by 18? this. He just wins. <laughs> the moisture begins to draw out of you and I pulls in toward them as their skin fire. begins to re-moisturize <gasps> and untighten. As they begin to shamble towards you, everyone roll initiative. You said nine, though, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because apparently the croc's not like so... Well, nice or fire. Oh, knock on stuff. No, knocked on what I was rolling. One eight of twenty-five. Twenty-two. Just getting twenty-one. Okay. Uh, fifteen to twenty. Sixteen. Uh, ten to fifteen. Okay. Oh, Twelve. My hawk. Oh 12. crap! Was my hawk a set? What did my hawk really took that necrotic damage? Uh no. Did you have him out? When we're traveling, yes. Oh okay. Uh yeah, would have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you had <laughs> so thirteen. and then and then uh five to ten. Seven. Seven. Eight. Pretty good. Good six. I did. Oh my gosh! Why did I forget? Okay, and then two luck. I did the three. Okay, I think that's everyone. Yeah. Okay. All right. First up is going to be Makani. As you see, these creatures begin to shamble out around you. There are six. There's six. Do they all look the same? Yes. Okay, um, I, I want to, <laughs> would it be possible to kind of like weapon at the ready, kind of fall into that trance, looking around, kind of gauging everyone. Can I stand up on the chocobo and try to do a jump dive at the closest one? Absolutely. Okay. So I'm making a deck save. It'll be a deck save. Fail. Yes, it's yeah, going to be. That was a to six win. plus two. <laughs> Uh, 16 damage. Wow. As I land on top of the first one. You you land on him and you rip one of his arms right off as the rotting flesh just gives away under the weight of your pike. I'm going to eye to eye to him and I'm just going to yell at him. Good same zombie. That's Makani's turn? Yes. Okay, click. No, like, nowhere, nowhere. Oh, just the way these look, I, I just, it, it upsets me a little bit, and the nearest one of this one got involved. Okay, make an attack. Oh, also, I need you to make a, uh, when you moved in on the one, make a contact. Con save 
Uh, 19. You are immune. As you feel this dryness hit your tongue as soon as you get close to it. But you're able to withstand. That's a hit. Fifteen radiant damage. Okay. You hit it and it blows a hole through its chest. And you just see this putrid intestines and putrid entrails spill out as but now it's covered in this faint glow from your guiding bolt. And I'm just saying that my breath. May we just protect you in the afterlife. Alright. Um how far is the the main creature? The little one? It's about ten feet in front of me. Okay, I'm going to uh pop off of the chocobo and try to get behind it. Okay. And I'm going to attack it. Okay, make an attack. As I basically as I jump off, it's like head of the snake and start running towards it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's not I need a roll. I'm gonna like no, I'm gonna start to say something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's Thirteen. You get up on it and you hear this <laughs> <laughs> laughing as you slice into it. Your blade passes right through it as the illusion vanishes. Damn. What's it evolved? I'm looking around like. Turn. Okay. Wolfert. Uh, Wolfert's gonna kind of like sluggishly like dismount off of the uh, the big chicken I'm riding, and <laughs> with his uh, shield up, he's gonna take his battle axe and walk over and just chop at the nearest little zombie guy. As you move up on it, make a Constitution save. It's a eight. That's an eight. You feel this dryness hit your tongue. You feel thirstier than you've ever felt in your life. As you suffer one point of exhaustion. As you move up on this thing. Oh shit! Oh my god! So. Forgive me, what is the point of exhaustion? Um, that gives you disadvantage on ability checks. Your attack rolls and saving throws are still fine. Is that the one that I did? Would you have gone up to the one that either one of them hit? Or, I, or, or a fresh one? Because I hit the nearest. Uh, I mean, uh, they're all within 20 feet of you. Yeah, I would just assume that I would just walk up to the closest one to me. So if yeah. there's so no, that would have been the one that you hit. So yeah, you move up on it. Yeah. So then uh, I'm just gonna strike it with my battle axe. Yep. Make an attack. Huh? You get advantage. You get oh, advantage. This is the guiding bolt. That is going to be a natural twenty. Yep. That's going to be uh, 7 damage. How are you going to do it? Uh, I'm just going to walk up and just slice it right in half. Yeah you, just, uh, yeah, you walk up and just cleave it right in half. And it's not done. And then uh, I will... Is, is there one... How far apart are these creatures? Uh, are they all pretty close? They're all within 15 feet of each other, oh, okay. but they're kind of forming a circle around you guys. Yeah. Then uh, I'll just turn to the next one and ready my axe for the next attempt. Okay. Alright, that's Wolford's turn. It's now on them. Makani, the one that hits you, or the one that you hit, is going to make an attack on you. It's going to kind of swipe at you with the call that's remaining. Uh, that's an 18 damage. That a definitely hits. I was going to spit when I said that, so. <laughs> it's 5 plus 3, 8 slashing damage. Uh, kind of look. Perfectly fine. Okay. I mean, you know, more or less. One then moves up on Uli. Uli make a con saving throw. 15. 15, you're fine. Uh, it swings at you. 
you feel this, you felt that thirst kind of coming on, and you turn to see one of these things kind of shambling upon you and taking a swipe at you, and you're able to duck out of the way as it attacks. One moves up to Echo. Make a con saving throw for me. I'm on a choke with the choke. Are choke wizards looking fine? The choke wizards are fine. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, man, that's a... Uh, mm-hmm. 22? 23? Here. That's a pass. It's going to swipe <laughs> at your... It's going to swipe up at you. Yeah. That's a natural two, so definitely missed. Uh, Kase, one is going to move up on you, make on saving throw. A lot. 20... Pass. It's going to make an attack on you, that's a four plus... Five, nine misses, two off. One is going to move up on you, make a con save. If any of you all that have passed, the only one that didn't pass was Wolfric. Uh, no. So, in, the failed, be- in the beginning. Well, uh, well, what was the number? Eight. 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 That was eight. all modifiers. That was with everything. Okay, so you suffer a point of exhaustion as you begin to feel thirsty like you've never felt thirsty before. That's it, fun, no. And this one, it kind of... It, it's got this cloth on a head, and it pulls the cloth up, and it uses it like a whip to try to hit you. Jeez. Chill out. Hold uh, on. That's a 16 plus 5. So 21. That one hits you. It's 2 plus 3. 5 necrotic damage. And this also reduces your maximum in HP <coughs> by the 5. Okay. Nope. So just keep track of that. That was that one, and that's all of them, so it's now on deck. Okay. Phew, nobody came after me. Cool. Alright, um. I'm. I'm gonna shoot the one that's on him, because he's like gotten wit. Okay. Make your attack. Yes. Unnatural 20? Yeah, unnatural 20. Okay. Uh, that's it. And then it's humanoid, right? Um, no. Interesting. Things they look like people. I did it. Yes. Eight damage. Eight. Yeah. Okay. The arrow goes right through him, and to like you see this arrow poke out of its chest. Is that all for Devil? Mm mm. Um, I'm going to, I should have done it before that shot, but I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on that one for my next turn. Okay. So Hunter's Mark is now on that on one. The, yeah. Echo. <laughs> um, Echo starts to vibrate slightly, then he stops, realizing these enemies are too scattered, and there's, Chuckos just kind of running around now. Yeah. Um. I'm on mine. Yeah. Well, I know theirs too was linked. I don't know who's his was linked to. We too. just have to run away. So. <laughs> it was. Uh, who's Chuck Wilbur's? What he connected to? I was connected to one of the three. I don't know which one of the three. Yeah, a lot of them are tied together. Yeah, actually. a lot of them were tied There's together. There's a three, three. I know you two are freed up now. Yeah. So we'll say it was Wolfram, Uli, okay. or Connie. Um, so I'm going to just decide, uh, cause. Uh, shatter when it said shock the one that's beside me. Okay. Um, fifteen. Hit. And he can't do a reaction, so he takes four points of lightning damage. Okay. And I take the chocobo and I move the chocobo over closer to their chocobo and grab what the reins and kind of just link them together. So yeah. That way they don't go running off. Perfect. Cost. I am going to. If a creature is restrained, does it get a tax opportunity? Uh, no. Okay. I'm going to cast Maximilian's Earthen Grasp right behind the one right in front of me. Is that a strength save? Yes. Natural two plus one, so three total. Fuck yeah. I'm going to have it grab onto it. Takes two pieces. What? 11 bludgeoning. Was that the one that was on you? That was the one that was up on me, yeah. 11 bludgeoning? Yep. Okay. 
And then I'm going to <laughs> best spell in the game. <laughs> or Maximilian's right. I'm just going to step back five feet so that it can't swing at me now that it's restrained. Okay. So, yeah, it can't swing at you. It's restrained. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, hold on. How many... I think restrained, it can make the attacks... Disadvantage on the But it's a disadvantage. Um, it just can't move. Yeah, your attacks and deck setting goes up disadvantage. Okay. So, natural one. Its arm falls off. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you move back. Yes. Okay. Uh, how many creatures are there total? Uh, five remaining. Five remaining? Yeah. Okay. Two luck. Okay. Um, two luck's going, trying to hit the one that's trying to tell it about him, I guess. <laughs> um, you failed the con save, right? For the uh, exhaustion? Yeah. Make one more. Stand your ground. Two luck. Now. Advantage. Free you anything? Uh, well, I mean... I have to call I, it before you roll. I know, I passed before. Okay. You did that? See if you get a 20. No. Okay, so okay. you passed. I well, got what, a 20. What was your number? Uh, it was a... The roll is a 20 with my modifier. Okay, so total 20. Yeah. Alright, yes, you are fine. Um, you still have the one point of exhaustion, mm-hmm. but you're able to stave off any additional. Okay. Um, so now you can mm-hmm. make your attack. Okay. That is gonna be a thirteen to hit. Hit just hits. Hey, this is all. I must have here. Who's it? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna use my orcish fury. Do attack against your spending creatures have a damage? They do. That's what it is. Okay. 15 mm-hmm. damage. Okay. Dead. How do you want to do it? Mm-hmm. Just cave its head in. Cave its head in. Yeah, it just it crumbles right under you. No, I don't. So, anything else? Any movement? Um, I want to look around. Like, okay. Like, perception. look for basically this little wall. Bird person or whatever the fuck it was. Make perception. Little goblin blaster. That's going to be a thirteen. From what you can see, you see a number of different houses. Mm-hmm. A couple stores, a couple stables, but you don't see anything that looked like what it was. Okay. Okay. Then um, let me see. I guess I'll use my movement if I can to get me close enough to something to try and position the Phoenix Ring. Who would you go to aid? Um, Uli's on one. Uli's on one. Makani's on one. Makani. Uh, Kasek was on one. And Echo has moved away from one. Yeah, he's moved away. Um, I'll go to Kasek. Okay. Mine's wrapped up in a hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But, uh, back to the top. Click on me. You're off your truck list? Yeah. Is click off the truck list? No, I'm on on mine. Okay. I'm just sitting there and yeah. just... I assume that... Our three was... Yeah. It was... That hurt you, butthole! I'm gonna jump up and dive down on him again. Okay. Uh, another deck save. Deck save. Not 20. Not twenty. It but still takes. Still, still take. Half, right? still, still, still take some damage. Is the one thing that that control rest, or is it upon death? The exhaustion. No, no. The the five. That is, it's, it's 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 actually until you have no exhaustion. Levels. Okay. Okay. See, I couldn't because I know what they are, yeah. but I don't remember yeah. all the details. It's until you have no exhaustion. Levels. Okay. Seventeen's the full damage. So it would be halved, so mm-hmm. 16 quartered because of the nat 20. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight. <laughs> no, uh, four. 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 That's enough to kill it. So, <laughs> uh, one, two. Dive down on it and <coughs> land on its shoulders and just shove my <coughs> pike right down straight through it. His, 
you, you, you shove your pike through it and you, it begins to take the weight. You just kind of smush it. But the sun slides right off your pike. Ew. Any movement? Um, yeah. I'm gonna use my movement to get as close to Uli as I can. Okay. Click. Um, seeing the one restrained, I wanna look at it in sacred plane. It needs to make a deck save as well. Nice. Right. Disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a two plus three, so five. So no they are rolling for garbage over there. Yeah, and Sacred Flame is fire damage. Yeah, I got a net. one for radiant. It is radiant. Yeah. Okay, so that was the one that you were on. So okay, that's surprising. Yeah, it does take the. You see, it, it does. It does affect it. Yeah. Anything else? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. No, yeah, no, never mind. Okay, Uli. How close does she get? She, she would have been able to get right there. So and you, so I you, would have flanked it, it as possible. Now. So mm -hmm. I'm going to hit this one. Okay, make an attack with advantage. Okay. Going on. Uh, 14. Hit. And I'll go ahead and make the other one just in case. It's 21. For the other one. Okay. <clears throat> First one, first attack, yeah, is 15 slashing damage. Still up, barely, but still up. And then my other one, two slashing damage. Oh, it is still up. It's got these massive gouges in it, but it, it, it's just barely a part of your Anything else for Gulli? Uh, no. I'm going to stay there and hold my swords. Hold your swords. Wolverine. Wolverine. Uh, did I realize that getting cl like, was I able to understand that getting close to the enemy is what caused me to be affected by it, or? Make an intelligence check. I'm pretty sure it's a 16. Yep. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, 10 was what I was looking for. Oh, so, okay. yeah, you associated the two. All right. Um, and then, for, forgive my ignorance, but if I wanted to pull out my bow, it, to sheath my weapons, I would have to use an action. But I could just drop them where I'm at. And you could just drop bow. them and pull them out. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to drop my, uh, just, I'm going to drop my action. Uh, am I still able to, like, use my shield with the bow? or No, nope. you have to drop the shield. All right. So I drop my shield and my axe. I pull an arrow and I shoot it at uh, our. I shoot it at whichever one of these creatures has not been hit, but is uh, closest to like getting ready to be attacked. So isn't there one on you? This one near me. Yeah, that's that's probably the one that's taken the least amount. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna shoot at that one. Okay. Then. So make an attack. Oh. Oh wait, I get to. Uh... If you have precision attack as a maneuver, you can add your D8 to that. Yeah, but also, uh, don't I have something that I get to re-roll ones on attack? That's only damage. It's only, it's only damage. damage. And it's oh. for a great weapon master. Alright. Uh, Correct. Yeah, so that's going to be an 8 to hit. Is that a natural one? Yeah. Okay. Ones and twos are great weapons. Did you pick that one? You, you, you missed. You pick great that right. um, I'm gonna do an action surge. Okay. And try to shoot another arrow at it. Okay, go for it. Uh, that is going to be a little bit. Uh, twenty. That will hit. All right, and then uh, that is. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could spend one of your. Superiority yeah. So that's what I was, I'm yep. gonna use a superiority die, and I'm gonna do distracting strike. So it's an extra D8 damage, and then it's going to give you advantage on any attacks until my next turn. Nice. Nice. Attacks on that creature? Or? Yeah, on that creature. So that is... So that is 10 damage. Okay. It's looking pretty rough, but it still stands. And that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's all for Wolford? Uh, well, can you roll two fours? Yeah, eight okay. plus my two. Yeah, plus your strength. Oh, your dex. It's dex yeah, because dex. it's. Oh, okay. Do you not get dueling? 
No, I, I think dueling's just for... You got dueling. Is dueling's for... Is melee it melee weapons, weapons only? Yeah. Weapon. One melee weapon. Gotcha. You, you, you have to have a... And it's a free yeah. man or shield work. Yeah, so. gotcha. The one that you're holding with the earth and grass is mm-hmm. going to try to break free. Okay. Uh, that's a 15 plus 1, 16. Sixteen. So it breaks free and it starts shambling. Okay. With like two two arrows. Arrows. But it had an attack of opportunity? Uh, yes, you would get an attack of opportunity as it moves away. Uh, no advantage, <laughs> though. That will most likely hit, but it's a 12 before my stuff, plus 7, so 19. 19, yeah, that definitely hits. Roll your attack. Uh, can I? That's going to be a 12. A 12? Yes. Dead. Murder. It crumbles under your attack. The next one is going to attack Uli. Oh no. Uh, 15? Uh, no. Oh, no, that's a miss. Okay. So that one takes a swipe at you and misses. The next one is going to move up on Echo again. No. This one is on, um... There was one on me that I just moved like, yeah, away from it. There was one on you. Yeah, so it moves up on you and makes an attack. Uh, 14. This is because I have mage armor. Because you put mage armor on. Yep, true. So... Devon. My turn? Yep. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Devon. Ah. All right. Uh, I'm going to move Hunters. Anyway, I'm going to move. There are two standing. All right, I'm going to move Hunters Mark to the one that's next to Echo. Okay. And then fire my bow. My hand bow. So, would that give him advantage since I. He, will, he would have advantage mm-hmm. since you On that him. creature, yep. yeah. Dope. Cool. Oh, no. Sorry. Eleven. For the first. T- total to hit? Yeah. That's a mess. Nice. That's my turn. Oh. <laughs> you killed a chocobo. Hooray! <laughs> Echo. Is it just the next one or is it all? Oh, uh, it's all until my next turn. Okay. So uh, you have advantage. No, well. I use my bonus. Oh, creature. Um, that's pretty stubborn. Yeah, it's pretty stubborn. So I imagine he came to my side. That's how I imagine. So I take my other hand. Search of electricity, go down to shock and grasp again. Alright, make an attack. Uh, 19, no. Uh, 17. Hits. Two points lightning damage, and you can't do reactions, so I pull the truck bows and I'm like, this way. Okay. <laughs> oh, that just stayed there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> as, as it crumbles under. Uh, Cossack. You're going to, you said there's just the one that they're fighting last? The one that they're fighting. It's like hacked all the pieces? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to okay. throw a rock at it. You, yeah. you still have yeah. Maximilian's Earth and Grasp up, yes. and you can move it as a bonus action and have it. Yes. yes. So, just... Can I get into a flanking position on that one, though? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. I'm going to slide around it, and I'm just going to do Primal Savage. It looks like it's on its... Yeah, it's like, good. Oh, yeah. Ooh, uh... <laughs> Not good face. 11, 13? Just says. Oh, oh, yes! Oh. Bring it home. <laughs> <laughs> seven acid damage. Seven acid. acid. Does that do stuff to them? Yes, it does. All right, good. And dead. Hell yeah. <laughs> and dead. I just get, I, do my claws drip acid when I do that, or how does that work? It's really thematically however you want it to work. Okay. I've always kind of imagined that it, it, it secretes an acid. It's like an injection. From like the cuticle. Okay. I just, as my claws lengthen, I'm just going to like plunge my hand into its throat and rip out its throat. Okay. Hell yeah. See, <laughs> as you reach in, pull it out, the area around you falls silent. This laughter begins to swell from nearby. <laughs> And that's where we're going to end tonight. Uh, we're uh, listening to the the laughter <laughs> building through what is left of Thorn Martin. Uh, and that concludes today's episode of Wasted 20s. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, hit that like subscribe button. And if you're a fan of the uh, Dragon Ball Z trading card game, check out our videos there. If you're a fan of beer, we do a beer review show talking tipsy. We got a lot more stuff coming up. Hope you guys enjoy. And once again, thank you for tuning in. And like always, stay awesome.